Why annuities suck in six minutes. Annuities are sold by non-fiduciary salesmen who, behind the scenes, earn huge sales commissions if they can convince you to lock your money up in an annuity. This is a conflict of interest. Never, ever, ever make investment decisions based on advice from a non-fiduciary. Never invest your money in products that a non-fiduciary selects for you. Legally, they don't work for you. They select investments for you that are best for themselves. They call themselves advisors, but in reality, they are nothing more than salesmen. Now, annuities are one of the most expensive of all investment products with fees, hidden management expenses, and excessive turnover ratio costs that total usually between 3 and 4% per year. That is ridiculously expensive. This compares with index funds, ETFs, which, for example, Vanguard's ETF VOO. This one has annual management expenses and turnover ratio costs combined of only 0.08% per year. That's eight one hundredths of 1%. And there's been numerous studies that have shown that in losing just 1% per year over time, this compounds into a lot of money. You will be shocked at how much as little as 1% compounds over 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years. Fees matter. What else? You never want to lock all your money up in prison in this day and age. You don't need to. And if you don't need to, why would you? Because with annuities, if you don't stay the course, the insurance company will penalize you with a contingent deferred sales charge. Also, if you take your money out before age 59 and a half, you must also pay a 10% federal tax penalty. And when you invest money in an annuity, your profits are now subject to federal and state taxation at the ordinary income tax rate, which is much higher than the normal capital gains tax rate that you enjoy with normal investments like stocks, bonds, and ETFs. So when your broker advisor boasts about how gains, such as dividends, are deferred, he's not telling you that eventually the government will simply make up for it, and then some, with higher taxes. And some people question, does an annuity's deferred taxation advantage outweigh the fact that in the end, at the time of distribution, earnings are taxed at a higher ordinary income tax rate? Well, that question was answered in a Wealth Manager article called Photo Finish, in which the effects of ordinary income taxation on annuities was studied. And when they compared it to other tax-efficient investments, it was determined that if you invested half a million dollars, after 20 years, you would be $270,000 richer if you avoided the annuity. And, and this study only analyzed one aspect of annuities, how the benefits of deferred taxation is adversely offset by higher taxes. They didn't factor in the high 3 to 4% fees that you pay with annuities. And now what about the headline of loss of principal? Annuities are marketed based on unrealistic fear of principal loss, meaning your original investment amount. Now, in one of my other videos, I explain this in much greater detail, but basically, annuities are long, long-term investments, and over long, long time periods, principal loss is highly unlikely because you have plenty of time for the market to recover from crashes that might occur. And history has shown us that if you're simply diversified in more than just stocks, you're protected from stock market volatility. And over 10 to 12 year time periods, even stocks alone have plenty of time to recover from a stock market crash, even if you have the worst timing getting in at the market top. And by the way, T. Rowe Price, which sells annuities, they've said that variable annuities are meant to be held for 10 to 20 years. So when some annuity salesman starts talking about the market crash of 2008, just walk out the door. He's ignoring diversification, and he's ignoring the fact that annuities are long-term investments. He's lying. And with regard to specifically index annuities, a Baylor University professor and expert witness on annuity products has said that over the long term, simply investing in a conservative portfolio of 85% one-month treasury bills and 15% large-cap stocks, you're going to beat the index annuity by nearly 2% per year on average.
Also, insurance company guarantees against loss of principal are actually not guaranteed if the insurance company ever becomes insolvent. So the market crash that they are telling you that they are going to protect you from is the same market crash that's going to put them out of business. So what good is that guarantee? And insolvencies happen all the time. Major insolvencies have occurred at least 62 times since the collapse of Executive Life Insurance Company in 1991. And the world's largest insurance company, AIG, became insolvent, but investors dodged a bullet when the federal government bailed them out. It might be different next time. And finally, there is no stepped-up cost basis for your beneficiaries. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that when you die, whoever inherits your annuity money will pay taxes on gains that occurred during your lifetime with other normal investments like ETF stocks, bonds, cash investments, etc. They would pay no inheritance taxes. So if estate planning is important to you, by all means, don't invest in an annuity.